everybody, Nate here, aka Man of Man Nate, and today we're playing The Kingdom, well, in the New Lands. And in this one, I'm going to be um, building up a kingdom, following our brave, fearless leader, and trying to get a setup so we won't die or survive, be able to survive a little bit longer. But what we're going to do, I'm going to look and try to recruit some more people. And... Honestly, in this game, I only have to worry about one side. I've been playing this game a lot on my downtime and everything. And I have a blast playing it just because I like the building up a kingdom, build, making getting some protection and everything. So, honestly, I'm just trying to figure out, like, which side the monsters are going to come in now. And I'm glad I found this thing because I, I usually upgrade stone as fast as possible just because... I like the extra protection. Alright, found one camp over here. I got one coin for you, and a one coin for you. And I'm gonna look and see if I can find a chest right here. And this helps a lot. Like, I think, because this is where the portal is. Right there. Okay. <laughs> I'll ride home now and get home. So, I just have to focus. I'll keep this camp for the longest I can. That way I could keep recruiting people, keep getting them up, getting them. I'm going to upgrade to the, the Stone Age, like, right away. Even though I don't have any builders, and that was probably a terrible idea. But, um, <laughs> I have one builder. <laughs> I sit them out near nighttime. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm a competent leader. You know, I care about my people and everything like that. They're okay at night. They're okay. I trust them. Oh. Alright. Oh. Freaking sticky keys. It pops out of my thing every single time I do it. I gotta f figure out why that's happening. It didn't happen at first when I started playing this game. It just does not want to be happy with me. So. Okay. Let's get some more bowmen. You have any money for me? Thank you. All right. Well, since I know they're coming from this direction, oh, gosh. Let's see. Eventually, I don't know. Like, I want to get all the bowmen on that side. That way, I can have a good defense. That would be nice. I don't, I don't know what happened to my people, but they're not here anymore. <laughs> oh, my workers are right here. I wonder if I... Eh. They probably attacked one of the guys that I recruited back all the way in that far camp. So, that's nice. Let's get this set up. Here you go, sir. Upgrade this. Alright, let's go recruit more people now it's earlier in the day so that's probably what happened because they only usually send out like two guys so probably the two people I recruited <laughs> got attacked on the way home which kind of sucks it took so it's just it's figuring out the land first off just like because just spawning and having a dirt for land, it might be on one side, the portal might be on one side, the water might be on the other side, but it's always different that way. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of nice that way because it makes it a little bit more unpredictable. So, alright. I got three people here. They'll become a worker and two bowmen. That's useful. I gotta try to recruit more people though. But one good thing is I got the stone age. All set up so I can get stone walls, better towers and everything, so that's useful. Uh, i got to keep going and try to build up my little army on that one side, because on the other side i got to focus on like farms and stuff like that. That could be my money-making side. And on one playthrough I did, I had, <laughs> I, uh, I had like one set of walls. Honestly, I could not build beyond it because only thing there was was farms and the portal and I was like I can't do anything with this so it was one of those I'm like I, I 
I don't know what you what we want to expect from me or anything. I can't do anything. You got money for me? Thanks a lot, bro. Jeez. All right. Every recruit you guys. Here you go. I'll get the chest from this side. And maybe get some of the deery deers to come back and help. And there's the boat. The belt. The boat is essential for getting off the island that you're at at the time. And the farthest I've gone, I've gotten to the next area. Or me. Which, honestly, I it's I guess that's what it is. You get you get this map, and it's all cloud and everything. I think I could look at where the map is. I'll try to figure it out. Eh. I'll look it up later. But it shows you all the islands you're at, where your island, your first island is, where you can get some you know where you first built like this island I'm at right now and then you can just keep building up and building up so it kind of gives you like a restart like you beat the first area then you go on to something else so oh you don't have a you don't have a job buddy here I'll give you a hammer I'll get some more bowmen too one bowman <laughs> I only have one coin now Dig it. Oh no! Did they both disappear? Or did they both get killed? Well, geez, I got my money back, gave my crown back, and there was no worries there. <laughs> it was self sacrifice to save my men. Was it the safest? No. But I wanted to protect my people. <laughs> I'll just run in front of an attack and everything. I will save you. No. Alright. I think in the next day I'm going to try to get... Oh, there we go. Thank you. I needed the money. I got to start protecting... Building up that one side. So let's get some art. Some more archers. Right now I only have like... One archer over there. I don't think I got for this yet. No. Nope. Thank you, sir. So, let's go this way. Alright. Go recruit a few more guys. My horse is already tired. My gosh. There's not that much grass to eat on the way here. So, it's like, I can't do anything for this horse. Jeez. Can't you just, like, be like a real horse and not get tired? As I asked. All right, let's get these deer heading the other direction. All right, the camp's not that far, but it's far enough where they they will have issues getting back. So, all right, I'll recruit these guys as bowmen and everything. Then I'll go on the other side and recruit a few more people. Hopefully, I got some money going. On my way back, like the hunters, hopefully got some money and everything, because I'd be relying on them at first. Did I spook you? Was my horse too fast for you, dears? Oh, gosh. <laughs> but I really enjoy the atmosphere of this game. It's very simplistic in the viewing, the art style, and everything's great. But it just it really just sets the tone of the game and everything. Just the little things in this game that sets it off and everything. The little art details and everything like that. It does a lot for games like this. Because you got a lot of games nowadays that have a lot of, you know, a lot of art style and everything. A lot of graphics and everything. And it's a lot doing that. It's a lot to get all those, like, that art style and everything. But... Like, back in the day, just back when my, when I grew up playing games and everything, it was very simple art style and everything. And there was a lot you could appreciate. I mean, I was a kid, all I cared about was beating the crap out of things and, you know, getting Zelda back. So, but, as of right now, do I have any bows over here? Yes, I have one bow. This guy is going to lose the race. Oh, wait, no, there's two. Never mind, dude. You're all good. So I got this. I gotta get my tower upgraded next. Are you guys not running into any rabbits? Oh my gosh. 
I'm relying on this guy solely for money. Jeez. I have two guys right here. I'm not going to give them like hammers and everything. I have plenty of archers over here. Do you guys have no money? Oh my gosh. What did I hire you for? <laughs> Can't you move to the other side and defend that wall? <laughs> Alright, let's see. And there's the lone worker that's just out here. And there's the one patch of grass I could eat it from, so. Oh, let's go back to your wall. Dude, you, you need to move. Okay, there we go. Job well done. Night's done. <laughs> That's all I had to do for that night. Alright. I Can you guys not hunt anything? I mean, seriously. Just... You know, I had to lure the deer back over this direction. There, I'll go find some. I don't know if I got the chest on this side either, so... It might be useful to go... Yeah, so... We'll get these deer running back. Yeah, there's definitely some areas around here I could set up some farms and everything. Come on, dear, dear. Oh, I really don't have any money for you. Huh. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a... Uh, I think this is how you reveal your map and everything. That's that. Oh, there's the statue. I actually never have gotten the statue so far yet, so... And there's the chest. Sweet. This will help a lot, just so I can upgrade a few things. And if those hunters aren't running into that many animals and everything, and getting that much money, at, I need to get the farms up and running. That's to be the best course of action for me right now. So, I'll probably get set up with a bunch of workers and everything. That way I can start working on this side. Here you go, dude. And Jason, get these deers rolling this way. There's plenty of hunters on this side. They're just not killing anything. Okay. Jeez. These deers are being a little bit of a number for me. I really need them to... I guess I just need to slow down what I'm doing here. I'm going to walk towards you, deer, so you don't hit the rock run right past me. All right. Jeez, man. There's another farm right here. That's good. And the creek beds. There's the farm. I got to get those. A few more people right here. That's good. Get the workers. And there you go. You actually killed something. Anything else? No? Gosh. One of my playthroughs, there was so many freaking rabbits and everything. It was That was how he was working out. So. Get this. You have money for me? I will take it. Okay. Get a few of these guys. I don't think I have time to get over for nightfall, so. I mean, there's movement on this side, but eh, I don't really need it. I'll save the money I have, and hopefully that one guy gets back by nightfall. And. Eh. You, you find any mon get money? Money? No? Okay. There's another wall right here. Oh my gosh. Well, I know they're attacking this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on trying to expand on the other side so I can start getting some of my farms ready. I'll let my horse eat the one bit of grass we have. Alright. So. Go this way. You guys have anything? Oh. <laughs> there was one of the guys that I hired that was still coming. Uh, I guess this is this. I'm going to recruit one of them. But I got to get a farm going. I, at least there's one more camp up here. So get This one tree down. Oh, look. There's another guy. <laughs> got to wait till they knock down that one tree just to get this tree. Yeah, next day I gotta focus on getting more archers and everything set up. Okay. Can can you not go for this area this tree yet? Jeez. <laughs> Alright, give me your money. Thank you, sir. Okay. 
I think we'll go through one more day, try to get set up a bit more. I don't know if they already attacked. <laughs> Tell right here, jeez. Okay, let's get the money from the trader. And then I can upgrade the wall again. I know you're coming. Look at all these archers. Good gosh. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's get this set up. Alright. Get you set off again. Let's go get some more archers. I have decent archers, but I need to definitely pick it up a bit. I need to upgrade my camp so I could get the farmers, get a farm. Then I'll start rolling in the money. So let's go this way. And if I run into a few deer, I will be careful not to spook them past my direction again. Jeez. Okay. You just walk new. I like how the weather they added in this game. It doesn't seem like much, but it's one of those things that's just... You end up appreciating it over time when you're traveling back and forth. Like, having, like, the snow fall, the rain, the colors in the trees, like... Just the simple things like that. That's something I always appreciate when I'm playing that game. It, it just adds to everything when you're playing. Okay, I gotta go slow for you guys, because... Apparently, the moment I speed up on you guys, you guys run past me. Jeez, I never had an issue like that before until I started playing this now while I'm recording it. It's like every single thing that could go wrong during, while recording it for the game. Oh, there we go. Killed ya. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh. Trying not to do the shift key because the moment I hit the shift key, the sticky note pops up and logs me out. Takes me out of the screen. Are you, are you not done yet, dude? Are you done, done running? Uh, oh, there you go. Good job, dude. No. My goodness! Freaking deer, man. Alright. I got some archers coming back. I should check and see. You took one coin, but not the other. You have my money? Thank you. I had three coins at that guy. What happened to it? I wouldn't know. Tell me now. Alright. Who has my money? Thank you, sir. Can I upgrade the wall? Sweet! Get those stone walls going. I don't have any money, but hopefully one of these archers got something. Oh, thank you! Oh my gosh. Yes. At least you made something. <laughs> you get some money for me? Thank you. Alright. Let's get the farm set up. Then I can start upgrading my tent. I can upgrade it next day. Did those guys make it? I'm kind of hoping they made it. <laughs> Here, I need a few more bowmen. Get through Blood Moon. There we go. Easy peasy. If they if they can hit them. Fantastic. Well, that was Blood Moon. <laughs> awesome. Let's see. I don't know if I have any more other guys coming. I think that's it. I gotta get the some farmers and everything because that would be a big thing. I think what I'll do is I'll end up I'll end this episode, but I'll get to the end, get the money right here, upgrade the camp, get some farmers and everything, and then I can start making some passive money. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button below and join the Minuteman Champs today. And thanks for watching. Bye.